this does well um what up youtube it is me riz ill and i'm back on the channel with another one and today we are going to be reacting to more ren i'm just pausing for y'all to just like get the mental image of him in your head like very dramatically as i did the jazz hands anyways um today we're going to be reacting to a song that was suggested by um Luan Lang 7471. I hope I got that the numbers correctly, you know, in terms of the end. That's a really like hot name, honestly speaking. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be weird or disrespectful or whatever, but it is like a hot name because it's like Luan is like maybe like a like a white name and then Lang is like a Asian name, so you could be like a British and Asian, you could be Brasian and shit and uh shit that's fire what up luan lang <laughs> thank you for your suggestion thank you for your support thank you for um viewing and uh i hope you enjoyed this reaction and we're gonna be reacting to ren dear god and um i can't wait to see what it's about uh, i've been told uh, from what i've read over there from the comments the uh, it's like a discussion like a, is it like a in the discussion about god like just talking to god in general like it's a prayer maybe it's done in the in the form of a prayer who knows but i'm excited to see so without further ado let's get to it hello uh it's ren i don't really know how to start this letter oh, fuck it <clears throat> Is this life really what it seems? Cause lately I've been in this place between awake and dreams I know I only reach out to you when I'm feeling blue I promise I'm not using you, I'm just confused I've got some questions I would like some answers to Like is there meaning to this state of short existence? My existential thoughts should hope there are cause I'm resistant To thinking that there won't be something better in the distance And God is there an afterlife where pain is non-existent If you're up there God, do you sit upon the throne? Or are you a humble soul wearing sandals and tattered clothes? Do you mingle with the people like an equal then on Sunday? Days, just kick back and chill and put your feet up Did I really choose this life that I'm living now? Will my sins be forgiven if I speak them out? I won't lie to you God if there is a heaven I really hope I get there cause for real it sounds like heaven Reading past the lines I just let go Searching for profits, my faith it is paper thin So many questions in my mind they replay like an echo They never stop my messiah is poisoned Dear God, why do people kill each other in your name? Is it really what you want or have we lost our way? Cause it seems like religion can cause division Or people living in prisons of moral values they're given What is right and what is wrong? Am I a sinner if I don't comply with everything that Moses said or is that dumb? And why do people disguise hatred in your name? Homophobia, a history of violent wars and causing pain High priests in the tower stacking riches Women burnt at the stakes called witches In the name of God, Allah, Zeus, Jesus People claiming lives justified by your allegiance I think it's more complex than good versus evil I think that there's both darkness and light inside people Through different eyes a man called a terrorist Could be a freedom fighter if he's fighting for the side you're with Reading past the lines I just let go Searching for profits, my faith it is paper thin So many questions in my mind They replay like an echo they never stop my messiah's porcelain So is it ignorant to claim that we know what you want? And if I fast for the Sabbath, is that what you want? Or is tradition just superstition, religion, the human vision Just crafted out of people's ambition? Listen, I knew a girl that lost a baby before it was born What's the purpose of that God? What is it for? Why did my best friends die before I hit 25? Is it cause there's something better in the afterlife? God, I've been feeling suicidal lately Mental health is worsening, it feels like it might break me if you're watching, you know that I've been strong But God, how much longer do I have to hold on? Please just give me some solace So that I know you've got my back Please just give me some relief God, is that too much to ask?
That was actually such a great composition, guys. Like, even, like, jamming to it was so much easier, you know? I didn't have to really catch the beat. The beat just sort of floated into me as I even, like, paid attention to the lyrics and everything. Um, in terms of what he's talking about, uh, as a... Should I say... You know what? Let me just say, like, a, a practicing follower of uh, the faith of Jesus Christ. Um, I'm not trying to be a hipster or anything, but I just don't... Uh, participate in my religion in the conventional way, way like everyone else i don't really claim to be like a uh, even though i'll write over here maybe like african christian or whatever i don't really i'm not like a christian christian because um i don't really like go to church and stuff anymore or i might be looking for a new church just because like there's a lot of things that go on within church and within the people that are in it all the way to leadership that are like what you call it's not at all with the laws of God. You know, a lot of people are bending the laws of God to their will instead of actually like confessing, not necessarily confess, confessing their sins, you know what, just being real. Being real, being saying you have a problem and not like covering your problem in the name of Jesus Christ and continuing to do wrong and then lead people who are lost themselves down a path that you don't even know what it's about because you're too busy being a liar. And I'm not just taking shots at random people. Uh, that happened with my father too, who was a pastor. He <laughs> he was a liar. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so trust me, there's a reason why I, I participate in my faith the way I do. Um, I do uh, actively read the Bible and uh, pray every day, not just once, like four times in terms of the session. Uh, okay, let me uh, get to whatever Ren was discussing over here. So it seems over here he's questioning uh, a lot of stuff. In terms of the lyrics, um, one I think one of the things that I caught on was when he said, uh, "I'm sorry for calling upon you." Uh, I swear it's not because uh, no, I'm sorry for calling upon you only when I'm feeling blue. I swear it's not because I'm using you. I just don't know what to do. Something like that. And honestly, um, if you believe in God in terms of the Christian faith, I don't know about like Muslims and everything and how they do it. Even though I have Muslim friends and all of that. Um, I, ha I have these discussions with them, but I don't really know. Okay, we know basically how they, 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 they participate in their faith very actively compared to Christians. Christians, we're sort of in and out, whereas Muslims, you have to be like a properly practicing Muslim. Otherwise, you, you're not really <laughs> in the faith at all. Whereas Christians can just walk around and like not really like pray all the time or not really read the Bible all the time and they can say, I'm a Christian, you know. So over here, he when he says like uh, something like that, um, here's the reason as to why uh, you won't make any headway in terms of that. If you believe in God, if you don't believe in God, uh, you don't have to take my advice. You can go down your own path and uh, and uh, best best wishes to you. And uh, I hope I hope you you find your way in whatever you're looking for. But if you believe in the Christian God and the Christian faith, it does take you actively every day participating in your faith that means through pay, prayer that means through uh, meditation intercession that means through reading the bible actually learning about your faith because there are things that are within the bible and within the discussions of the faith and everything that you need to dissect to figure out your place in terms of building your relationship with god it's not about being part of the religion as like a whole in terms of like a population but it is specifically about your relationship with God because at the end of it, when you die and everything, you're the only one who's going to stand before him, if you believe. You're the only one who's going to stand before him and have to, like, um, what you call, uh, yeah, you're the only one who's going to who's gonna be standing before him when it's your time and it's not going to be with anyone else. You're not going to have to point at this, this person was with me, or my pastor was with me, and he said this, and one, two, three, four, and uh, that's why I did what I did, and it's like, why did you listen to him, why didn't you build a relationship with me, will be the obvious uh, thing that will be said, because as Jesus said, I, I, might, I, might, I might misquote this, but um, when you come to me, because you didn't build a relationship with me, when you come to me and say, Jesus, it's me, I'm going to say, I don't know you. It's not about everyone else. It's not about. It's about the specific relationship that you build with him. So, if you didn't, if it's like you coming to me and telling, like someone, like a stranger coming to me and telling me they're my friend and I must like give them like something or whatever, and it's like, bro, I don't know you. We we don't. 
how how do you come over here and start asking me for stuff and like being entitled to stuff when you never built a relationship with me in the first place oh no i know your mother oh i know one two three four it's like you know them you don't know me why are you coming exactly it's like that so it does take you actively participating in the religion um that's one to in order to actually even find the answers without even praying for some kind of magical one to be waived uh that's one you have to participate in the religion and actively know the history actively engage in conversation with people it's not like i don't like that whole being told what to do by religious uh leaders or whatever because what if they're wrong a lot of them do bad shit my father did bad shit and he was a big religious leader uh i have like pastors that i had around me did like 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 shit, like bad shit like and they were religious lead they were leading people they were leading people's souls and so uh in terms of like this other things that he references to like um if you're up there are you like uh wait let me see this this what you call are you a humble soul or are you like sitting upon a throne or whatever there's a lot of like things in the bible that talk about god sitting upon a throne a lot of imageries that talk about god like not even as like a dude would like like as a human being like every like proper image of god when people have encountered god has always been through multiple imagery of like like he was a flame once then suddenly he comes down and he's a lion with like three heads and like i don't know five tails and like a bunch of eyeballs and shit all this crazy shit bro in the bible like if you really like read the bible and pay attention like back to back like i'm attempting to read the bible back to back so it's that whole like what you call even the whole dramatization of like sitting upon a throne and stuff it's there but we don't really know what it is there's no like one specific image of god you can have in the bible because it always comes in like different forms and um in terms of uh what you call uh this i i, I there was a thing where he brought up like uh why do people kill in your name or whatever uh something about uh what you call if a terrorist is on your side will they be considered right because they kill in your name or whatever you know we see a lot of the times especially within uh not muslim muslims because hey bro i have muslim friends they're not like that but radical muslims you know the radical ones that uh you know like uh, al-shabaab al-qaeda all of that and then they say and then they kill it for allah and all of that when the other muslim are saying like allah never said we must do this bro it's in the text and what you're doing is actually you know in terms of that let me talk in terms of the christian faith when he questioned i can i find the exact lyrics because i feel like we're gonna go into it guys uh yeah there it is that could be a freedom fighter if he's in your name uh why did they kill women burnt at the stake all of that okay in terms of even that women burnt at the stakes because they are witches and everything if you've read the bible from the beginning of like um where, where should i say no not when a- abraham in terms of abraham that was still a trip in terms of jacob that was still a trip uh after they established themselves in the promised land and everything yeah after they established themselves in the prom- promised land and started like uh drawing up their territories dividing their territories amongst their tribes um started doing multiple things one thing that god made clear is you're going to have to fight against um practicing certain types of like religions and uh certain types of like witchcraft practices and all at that time because they require sacrifices that are outside of what i want from you so even in the bible it mentions some of these people that worship baal or whatever it's even in our like our history like even the vikings did it they do human sacrifices they do they do really crazy shit that even further than what even god required from like the uh, the jews or whatever that were with him i'm sorry to make this like a like a little bit of like a conversation that were with him um before like uh jesus came down and like what you call no one had to do the the basically the animal sacrifices god used to require like what not require yeah require or whatever people used to do animal sacrifices and everything but the other religions especially in that land used to even do more than that they used to sacrifice their kids they used to sacrifice all we've even seen it again in like norse mythology and uh what you call uh viking history and everything their religions and their faiths required them to go the extra mile in terms of doing shit and god is like 
don't participate in this and if it's within it starts seeping within your culture and like within your people since you are my people you are to fight against it and repel it because it's going to corrupt you every time they didn't repel it it corrupted them bad shit started happening etc etc you really have to read the bible guys because uh, if i if i start breaking it down even more we're going to take an even longer time to talk about this so all of that was mostly yes there have been like times uh, again i'm not denying in terms of our uh, history that people have for the sake of it like accused people of being are ah, you witchcraft or one two three four especially with not understanding it but in the bible it wasn't a thing of um people like what you call just randomly being called witches or whatever as it were like as opposed to them actually taking part in the practices like it's known live like they're over there it's like sacrificing kids like doing this killings doing that killings doing all kinds of crazy shit slitting their like in one session where Elijah went against like a bunch of prophets in terms of saying listen if like pray to your god to set this thing on fire and I'll pray to mine you go first let's see whether your god sets this thing on fire i'm not going to over explain the entire story and then they prayed they prayed they slit their wrists it says they started slitting their wrists they started doing all kinds of wild shit their god didn't respond nothing happened all elijah did was literally what god tells you all he did was pray to him and then the shit happened now we can believe or not believe that story but basically it's trying to say other people's religion was different and way more <clears throat> it's way more left field than the religion that the people were following so that's basically why things were the way they were you know it's not a thing of uh, a lot of people especially the people who actively do it they misconstrue it as uh kill these people in the name of god kill these people they're infidels kill these people in the no it's basically keep away from what they're doing and fight against it repel it from you otherwise it's going to affect you basically it wasn't a thing of go out there and kill them you know what i'm saying you really had hey bro i don't have to explain this basically guys if you want me to explain anything more guys uh, it requires a deeper conversation like comment subscribe hit the post notifications uh i'm feeling like this is turning into something cuz i'm looking at all these lyrics guys there's a lot of shit i could answer because i really i participate in my religion guys i really know what so we can have a conversation about it in the comment section but other than that uh luan lang thank you for this suggestion i had a wonderful time here with you and um yeah man hit me with anything guys hit me with anything i've had too many days i've had too many vacations stayed on the barrel i'm making it blink all the time on tell me sensations i kind of feel i've seen too many faces now i don't know what the chase is